sitting back part, right? Now you just need the millions. Oh, very true, Douglas. <laughs> These women got where they are by having vision. They wouldn't waste their time in a titchy little guest house stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Lily! Well, don't let us and our titchy little guest house stand in the way of your fame and fortune. There's no need to get touchy. But seeing as you are staying with us in our house, under our roof, eating our food, you might like to lend a hand. You could try and find the silver candlesticks in the attic. Of course. Any little thing I can do to help? The little thing is right. <laughs> Who do they think they are? Treating me like a poor relation. <laughs> Their last sleep die off. I was just. Eh. So that's their latest little hiding place, huh? huh. Not clever enough, I'm afraid. drudgery. Well, they can find someone else to pick on today. I'm going AWOL. Morning, Mom. How can I help you? Uh, perhaps it's more a, a case, Mom, of how I can help you. It is my mission to give people the opportunity to benefit from a dynamic innovation in health and bodily welfare. An innovation? My own, sir. An invention whose beneficial qualities must soon see it established as a staple in every household. And pray, what is this invention? Oh. Pains. All-purpose, beneficial and medicinal gum. What do you do with it? You chew it, Mom. And the great is yours? Simulates the saliva gland. But don't take my word for it, Mom. Try some yourself. Uh, thank you, but I think not. Hmm. Uh, no, thank you. I thought you may be interested in stocking my gum in your shop. We have tobacco for chewing. Did I mention it polishes the teeth? There is not much call for tooth polishing among our miners. I'm sorry, Mr. Payne. I see. Would you object to my approaching the miners on my own behalf? Not at all. I wish you luck. <laughs> Gum? <laughs> <laughs> the new medicinal gum. It looks awful. Kiss wet. It is the medical benefit that one must focus on. You focus on it, I'm off. Stop. You don't expect people to believe all that rubbish about gum, do you? I believe it. My medicinal gum is a breakthrough. 
Only people would see it. How many have seen it so far? No one. I've hardly a penny left to my name. It's my curse to be ahead of my time. Yeah, that's what they all say. The only way you'd be ahead of your time is if you suddenly invented the light bulb or a CD player. The what? Down to your last penny, you say? Well, I might have just the proposition for you. Stupid thing! Secrets. The important thing is, it does. You just plug it in and instant light. Plug it in? Where? <laughs> OK, bad example. But when at first you don't succeed, invent something incredibly simple that everyone there's something wrong with this light. Hey, that flagpole's gonna look great on top of that stone can. The bolt's gone. Yeah, well, it does happen. Oh. I mean, really gone. together. You hold together the papers, take the device and slide it on to keep them together. There. And Mr. Payne, what do you call this strange device? Well, I had thought of calling it the paper clip. But do we not have string, ribbon to keep papers together? Well, you must see the extra convenience of my paper clip, sir. Its very simplicity is its greatest asset. Certainly it is more useful than gum. I shall take some for the shop. Certainly, ma'am. You made this yourself, Mr. Payne? Where else would I get such a thing? It is a small thing, but uh, no doubt useful. <laughs> may be small, sir, but imagine one being used on every collection of papers in every office or home right across the world. I see your point. It is conceivable you could become a wealthy man, Mr. Payne, and famous. It seemed a splendid idea, Mr. Payne. Prendergast, First Pacific Bank. I'm here to inform you that the bank has carried out the instructions we received from uh, another Miss Pratt in 1867. Your ancestor, I believe. That is correct. Yes. <laughs> Apparently, money was invested in trust for you until today. A considerable fortune. How wonderful. That's our Lily. <laughs> Quiet. Factories, cattle properties in Australia, and a company that publishes romantic fiction and several million in cash. Oh, well, that's very satisfactory. And to think it all came from the humble paper clip. <laughs> or more precisely, patenting the humble paper clip. <laughs> Your ancestor was a very astute woman. Mm. 
So is our Lily. <laughs> a regular business tycoon. <laughs> Thank you, Douglas. That will be all. What else? She's treating Mum and Dad like servants, and they're just taking it. Yeah, she was acting real sus before, too, looking at patents and stuff. That's what she was talking about with the guy from the bank. What are they? Well, you get a patent to stop people ripping off your ideas. What sort of ideas? Like inventions. If you get a patent registered in your own name, no one else can steal your ideas and make money from them. Did one of you guys touch the mirror? No, why? If there's something wrong with it. Look. Whoa. Do you reckon we can still go through? You want to risk it? You and I, you. Strange things are happening to the mirror. We know. We think it's got something to do with Auntie Lily. Do you know what she's done? I have my suspicions. There are things in my room. It's from your time. We'll come through. It is too dangerous. I'll see what I can do to put the mirror back to normal. My first bank statement. It was Lily. She's taken something back to the past and got it reinvented in her own name. But what? A paperclip. That's where the man said it all came from. Paperclips. That must be why the mirror's got indigestion. It's straining to change the whole world. If Lily's got someone producing paperclips in 1867, that's maybe, what, 50 years before they were supposed to be invented? If they catch on, then how many paperclips would the mirror have to put where there were number four? Millions. More like billions. Enough to give anyone indigestion. Sorry. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. You took a paperclip back to 1867 and pretended you invented it. Not at all. I think you'll find that the inventor of the paperclip was Thomas Paine. Really? What do they teach you at school these days? Thomas Paine? Yes. A rather hopeless little man who just happened to have a flash of inspiration. Paperclips weren't supposed to be invented for ages. You've upset the mirror. It's having to change the whole world. Well, I don't know about you. I quite like the world this way. In fact, another 50 million and things would be just about perfect. What are you looking for? Something useful. And I think I just found it. See? The mirror's gone weird. It's too dangerous to go through. Give me the cornflakes, Auntie Lily. No way! These are going to make me the richest woman on the planet. She can't. The mirror won't be able to stand it. Give them to me.
perhaps you think the paperclip is not my invention. Because I know Miss Lily Pratt, and I know where she could have found such a thing. Oh, you are too late in any case. I have made out the patent application and posted it. The mail coach has not arrived yet. You could still get it back. To claim credit for someone else's work cannot be right. The world has chosen to ignore or disparage my medicinal gum. I have been laughed at, made destitute. Why shouldn't I take whatever opportunities come my way? You are not aware of the effect that you are having. If the world rewards me with fame and fortune, it is only my due. I deserve to be famous for what I have achieved on my own account, and I have been wronged in the denial of it! Miss Pratt is not to be trusted. Charming! Unfortunately, we forward thinkers will always be subject to the jealousy of others. You must uninvent the paperclip immediately. Uninvent? Now, that's an odd notion. Before something terrible happens. Oh, but we're just hitting our stride, aren't we, Thomas? Especially when I introduce the world to this. Found it. Thomas Paine, the little known inventor who was thought by some to have originated the paperclip. Though doubt is cast on this by the fact that the patent is in the name of the much more famous Lily Pratt. I bet. And look at this. Thomas Paine died penniless and in obscurity. So he never got any money or any fame. I bet Lily hasn't told him that. But maybe somebody should. I can't see a thing. Maybe we should just take a chance. Here, without knowing where we'd end up. We have to do something. Maybe we should throw the encyclopedia through and see if it reaches Constance. can this be? A book from the future? You're an inventor. You're supposed to have imagination. Where do you think Miss Pratt got the paper clip and the cornflake from? Or this? The important thing is, she's ripping you off. Ripping me? She's using you. You're making her a millionaire, but you don't get anything out of it. That's what it says there, in black and white. Seems I am fated to obscurity no matter what I do. If there was any justice, I would have been successful with my gum. Gum? There is but one piece of the cursed stuff left. It should go the way of the rest. Hang on! Gum's huge! Make it successful! It is. It will be. Everyone likes gum. It becomes a staple medicine. Medicine? Of course not. Then how? I'll tell you, but first you've got to help us. Fortunate to have retrieved your letter in time, Mr. Payne. The mail coach is due any minute. Thank you for your trouble, ma'am. Those are the documents. Patent application for the paper clip. And here's the one I made out for the corn flake. Without them, the world will know nothing of either invention. Until they're supposed to be invented. <laughs> Getting better. 
ending. So is most medicine. It is the benefit to the body that one must focus on. Who cares about that? This stuff's supposed to be fun. Fun? You're missing the whole point. People chew gum for enjoyment. Put some flavor in it. Flavor. And this color is revolting. What color do you suggest? Pink. Pink? Trust me. Well, if it's no longer to be pain's all-purpose beneficial gum, then what should it be called? I'll give you a clue. Well, the mirror's back to normal, and so are Mum and Dad. That just leaves... Thomas Paine? Thomas who? The inventor of bubblegum. Why would I be interested in bubblegum? Well, apparently it made him extremely wealthy. <laughs> Good for him. Wish I had half of luck. Maybe it wasn't luck. Maybe he was just ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. 